What's the crack, lads? We are back. Welcome to our What's Coming Monday preview. So we do this every Sunday. We're not going to keep you too long, right? Time is money, boys. So I'm not going to keep you too long watching this video. We're just going to get straight to the point. Events, okay? We all know now that testing my limit or the team play fun, they're going to be gone. We also have the national team event gone as well. So if you haven't done that, you can do it now or before the, the live update tomorrow or before the refresh. Spanish clubs and English clubs, as well as the English clubs and Spanish clubs here, are going to continue on, as well as the flexible showdown. National teams are going to be gone as well in 15 hours, right? The rest of the stuff seems to be going to be tied in to eFootball League and all that sort of stuff. That's not going to come until the next big update, so you don't even need to worry about that. Listen, the eFootball Festival and the missions and all of that sort of stuff, right? They're kind of set in now from the Monday to the Thursday week to week. You can see there that there's three days left in that. So it does seem that Thursday is going to be kind of a fairly bigger update than normal because the new campaign will be starting. And then obviously we'll have new cards and everything. Speaking of new cards, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. We do kind of know what cards we're going to be getting, right? And it looks to be that we will be getting a double pack. So there's two double packs dated here for Monday, right? So the Young Stars Volume 1 will be gone and they seem to be going to be replaced with an England team selection. Now, this is different than the England team that you could buy with Southgate as a manager. This seems to be tied in specifically to um, these players that are going to be coming here. So it looks like it's going to be David Beckham. And if you look at his stats there with 31 levels, he'll probably have more. I definitely think that this is going to be a good card to have. Have, right I, I do feel that this could be a good card to have it depends it just depends on whether or not um you want to have a beckham card i genuinely feel with the changes they've made to the the managers and adding managers like de la fuente i've done a review on him i do feel for efootball 25 they're going to go back a little bit to out wide and possession based play with crosses and i think that they'll rework the headers and all that i think because it's so bad at the moment that they kind of have to do it right we also have stevie g now a lot of people will probably not really fancy this DVG too much. Um, it depends on how many levels that he does have. But I definitely feel that this Steven Gerrard could be a, a fairly decent option, especially if you're looking for something a little bit different and his booster is quite decent. You're going to be able to get his passing, his dribbling. Um, the only thing you won't really be able to get is his kind of like speed and acceleration <clears throat> into the 90s. But it depends what booster he has, you know, because you might not need that much finishing in him. And then that would free up to be able to get his dexterity up to, you know, 85 plus, speed up it into 85 plus, and he's kicking power past 90. So it could be a really, really good card if you're looking to get him. Also, there is a Lampard card here as well. Now, there is a Scholes card as well. So we are thinking that it could be a Scholes or a Lampard. But um, I think, you know, Lampard looks to be the one to come as well with the England selection here. And again, I, I think he will probably be the weakest of the bunch if he does come. Um, but, you know, he's still, they're all kind of similar players, you know, similar to the issue that England had when they had all these players in their prime. It's going to be hard to get all of these three players into the main team if you have a main squad now. But they seem to be coming in this selection here with these players. Obviously, these player levels are not correct at the time that you're you're looking at here, right? And then on top of that, we also seem to have a brand new selection here, which I'm going to show you. And that seems to be the second selection that's going to be coming. And that will be this selection here, which, uh, hold on, I need to change my screen, that they are calling uh let me see one second lad sorry they're calling this highlight continental tournament right so you've got mbappe rodrigo john stones de la cruz you've got a couple of these boys here bruno gomerish uh malin cruz and uh Xhaka, right so it's probably going to be the last tony cross card now these are in as highlighted uh continental tournament these are probably going to be within the pack that we see here right so this is a brand new pack here as well with showtime so that the paul danny almo and uh, james rodriguez um look to be in these now these are going to be showtime guys as well and this seems to be a separate uh one from that now as i said right i do feel like that they've gone with this showtime route and i feel like that the reason they've gone with that is because you know people are probably looking to get showtime players now to carry into efootball 2025 and that's why you've had these young stars have showtime these have showtime these have showtime and they're now adding the legends on top of that as well, right? So it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. But that is basically it, lads. We'll be back streaming Monday. Let me know what you think of Beckham and Co. Let me know if uh, there's another player that you think might come instead of, you know, Beckham, Scholes, or Gerard. But they're the ones that have been updated. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the show times as well. I mean, it is interesting, man. It is going to be a lot about cards. But for me, gameplay needs to, you know, it needs to pop at eFootball 2025 because everyone has a beastly squad now unless you're a newcomer. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you've gotten on and tested my limit as well. I was away all weekend, so I didn't even get a chance to log into the game, let alone play it. But let me know how you get on in that. Let me know what you think about the cards. And I hope to see you guys in the stream tomorrow. Peace.